What's going on? It's your boy Jay back at it, another video. Today's video, we're going to be doing a little bit of a review, showcasing two shoes that haven't released yet that I picked up for the personal collection. And we're going to do a little sneaker shopping video with Vegas's very own Pierre Jackson, a uh, local product that has been played in the league, has won championships overseas, and uh, a good friend of mine. So sit back, enjoy, watch this video, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share the video one time for your boy. So, uh, while I was gone, before I actually left to go, I don't even know anymore if it was LA or Melbourne or Boston, I, I bought a couple shoes from the homie Randy Galan and uh, some 4Ds samples. Alright, still got the sample tag for one. I know it doesn't come like this, but the sticker ripped. And the homie shot me the sample tag for it, put it on a piece of paper. Here's the other sample tag. Right. One of these actually comes out this uh, holiday season, and the other one comes out summer. So, same 40 so, um, but different uppers, a little bit more prime knit on the uppers. I mean, these are crazy. They fit, they fit, a, little, uh, they fit a little snug, so you got to go half size up. If you do get a pair, right? These are a size nine. Um, it's a ZX 4004D, but these are really, really dope, man. I, I paid paid a grip, but um, you know that's the cost to earn the game, right? Sample tags on the side. The materials are easy. Sneaker shopping, urban necessities. To it, huh? Let's get it. All right. I mean, growing up, you've always been a Nike head, right? You have yeah. already rocked with Adidas. What were the shoes for you that you know motivated you or got you into the sneaker game? Uh, you know, it's crazy. Actually, I actually played like in fourth, fifth grade. I played with a pair of mid top Air Force Ones. Okay. All white. Uh, that was my like first shoe um, that I could remember that I played in. And now looking back on it, it's kind of crazy. I wouldn't. I would never. Do that. Yeah, that was a heavier shoe. Yeah, it was, you know, back then you playing whatever. You yeah, 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 whatever fit. Yeah, exactly. So that's the I first shoe I can remember, actually. So um, what's it like, you know, growing up in Vegas, obviously the basketball sneaker game is totally different than most yeah. most places, right? What's, what's one of the biggest differences you would say, like, I mean, you played on the East Coast for a bit, you played down South for a bit, you played overseas for a bit. What's one of the... What's one of the main differences you see, like sneaker game out here to some of the other places you've been? Uh, I would say in Vegas, we don't necessarily have like an identity or like a shoe that, you know, oh, even Vegas, he wears those. You know, when I was, when I played for the Sixers in Philly, I was in a short time, and they were Timberlands and Fons. Fons stuff like that. Yeah, Fons, Fons and stuff like that down there. And, uh, you know, down in Texas, man, they wore polo boots and yep. stuff down there when I was down there in school at Baylor. And, uh, 
up. Like I said, you know, they got their staple of shoes that, right. you know, you can identify them as. We don't really got that down here. Yeah, you know, yeah, kind of right. mix everything and, uh, you know, uh, I just embrace it, man. The sneaker game's grown a lot out here. And it helps. Thank you for helping us with that. And, uh, you know, this store is really, you know, about a lot of kids to get into the sneaker game and obviously uh, fashion, supreme, vape, all that stuff. Yeah, no, nah, it's, been, it's been crazy to see the growth of the community in general, right? There's a lot of great shops and the consumer and the consigner alike have, have become a lot more aware of what's going on in the culture, not just here, but globally. And, and stores like ours are very fortunate to have great consigners that are sending in stuff from everywhere. So that's why you get to see all the crazy stuff. But let's look at some shoes, man, and see, you know, what what's what sticks out to you, what what brings back a memory or two, or, you know, what you might want. Yeah, so lately, oh, actually, you know, it's crazy. This shoe right here, the shoe that I do that, the shoe that I actually, uh, I tore my Achilles in during summer league in 2014 after my rookie year and then one of my probably my better years as a pro to this day you know, averaged a lot of points in that year and like in the first quarter first game I, had, I, had, I tore my Achilles and, uh, if I had like a, a minute and a half span where I, I scored like seven points or something like that quick quick and, uh, coach called a play for me out of the timeout and we I actually messed the play up that's what's kind of messed up about the situation I messed the play up so I went back to get the ball and I heard my Achilles pop. And he, uh, you hey, heard it pop? I heard it pop right. It oh. pop real loud. As you can see, you can see in the video. It's on YouTube. I like look back real quick to see. And uh, I thought that I, honestly, I thought I broke my ankle. That's how loud it was. I thought it was the bone just not really loud. And, uh, I just look back. You can see me look back, and I started limping, and I fell to the ground. And I expected what it was. And, uh, and the trainer told me. Uh, it's definitely his Achilles, and I just started, I broke down because, you know, you don't remember good about Achilles yeah, there. You know, not too many people bounce back from that. But, I mean, I, I, I met you shortly after that. I think I met you shortly after you had your surgery. One, yeah. of, one, of, uh, one of the memories that, like, now I laugh at, but back then I was like, oh, my God, uh, was when we had that 401k wall at the old store. Mm -hmm. And I was like, yo, you think you could sign the wall for us? And you had picked, like, one of the top spots and like it was at the tallest part of the of the shelf and you we didn't even have ladders we had a chair you grabbed the chair and when you was coming off the chair you almost fell I remember and I was like yo this dude almost tore his ACL again in my store like my heart skipped a couple beats there man it was crazy but uh it was good to see you out there again getting it and been playing all over the place and just putting up numbers it's, it's crazy man it's very inspiring you still, you still mess with threes or three? I still stuff? like the threes. This is one of my favorite shoes. Yeah, like some is one of my sure. favorites. Uh, uh, yeah, I mess with threes. Those, I, I can't do those. Man. Gotta stay away from them. I feel you. What's your favorite shoe to play in? Favorite shoe right now? Uh, it's probably the Paul George too. Cause usually every year I have like a shoe that I kind of stick to, and I get like, I get, I might get ID like every color. Right. Uh, back then I used to play. And a lot of retros, and since then I don't really play in Jordans. I still have a lot of them. It's off through the years buying them, but uh, <clears throat> PG2 right now is probably my favorite shoe, and uh, KD, KD line is probably my favorite as well. So, yeah, those are a lot lighter, and the uppers seem like they're, they're very well put together to keep your foot in place, kind of thing. The older I've got, older I've gotten, man, it's kind of been more comfort for me. Right. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of having bad feet for the most part. They look good, but they just bad. How many pairs would you say you think are in your, your sneaker collection at this point? Because I, I mean, I've been watching, I know you've been collecting for a lot longer than you met me, but I mean, just seeing you come in and out and ordering stuff online, mm -hmm. I've seen you pick up a, a decent amount. What you think, man? Right? What was it, like four? I'm at four something now, for sure. When I was going, <clears throat> when I was out overseas, I kind of, I didn't, I Slow bought some stuff out there, yeah, but I ain't gonna say slowing down. I kind of was over there still, shopping online, just sending it home, watching this stuff stack up. So I'd probably say I'm close to like 450 or something like that right now. Just getting out there, but I give away so much stuff, man. I give yeah. away a bunch of shoes. You know, I got a, a common size. Right. You know, size eight and a half, nine. You know, I just give stuff out to, you know, my little brothers and stuff like that. 
I see you play, you play though in like bigger sizes yeah. though, right? You play yeah. like size nine and a half, ten. ten. Yeah. What uh, so any of these stand out to you in this section? Well, the four, the, the four is my favorite silhouette. I can't reach those, but the cactus fours, the cause, the cause those, fours. Those like jumped up to, you know, my some of my favorites. Uh, yeah, my favorite shoe, at my favorite shoe all the time is the. Uh, Cool gray four. Okay. And the lightning four. So we've had a, we've had a few of those. They're 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 getting harder and harder to find pairs yeah. that aren't falling apart because right. they're such an older shoe now. Yeah. shoes when I was in high school I couldn't get you know so I like these but man since I got these now I just you know I live the body is you know grown man uh Terry Wood joints these are still fire a lot of people sleep in the 16s I, I mean I was I I didn't play nowhere near to your level but I used to play a lot of these yeah I'm glad these retro this is a shoe I'm actually glad that uh, retro, those are sleepers for sure. Yeah, I had the shorts, but you know, back in the day, yeah, you got well, the shorts, the shirt, the hat, yeah. the wristbands. I was that dude yeah. wearing oversized stuff. Well, everything's oversized for me. I'm, I'm two feet yeah. tall, bro. I'm right so. behind you, bro. <laughs> yeah, so, I mean, 11s is, you know, everybody love 11s. Uh, I find my favorite 11 right now is, uh, actually, not right now, but one of the shoes. Yeah, that, that's... These are crazy. These are crazy. I just... You know, I'm glad they didn't water these down like they did. Because, yeah, facts. You know, I, when I had got these, I was real happy. Then these start dropping, I got it. It's like, what you doing, bro? These, I'm glad they kept it just yeah. simple with these. That, that was... Uh, that one I picked up early for yeah, personal. I, I think yeah. I had that one like two, three months mm -hmm. early. I sent you first one. Yeah. Yeah, man. Air Maxes? You want Air Maxes? Yeah, Carson? Air Maxes ones for sure. You know, going to Europe, my uh, my rookie year, I played in Turkey for uh, Fenerbahce and uh, just the European swag out there. They wear the expensive, you know, Balmain skinny jeans with the Air Max Ones, Air Forces, or something like that. And I kind of got hip to it. You see, I'm wearing them now. Since ever since then, I've been kind of it's my go-to, like those in, in '97s. These I struggled to get. Like every time they dropped, that was the last release, which was what 2000. No, these, these 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 ones I just dropped. Yeah, so Vegas didn't get too many. I think Undefeated was the only joint that got them. Yeah. And dude that had the eight and a half didn't want to come up off them. Dude that had the nine didn't want to come up off them. These and the reds, both of them I got size eight. And I'm kind of squeezing it. I was just crazy that some shoes, even for me, like even for all of us, like you still can't get. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. Actually, these ones are fire, and I seen you had the family and friends. Friends and family, yeah. Crazy. But yeah, I, I'll man. tell you, I like the price and the resell of this one a lot more than the price for the friends and family. Like, yeah, of course. That friends and family one, like the quality is insane, but this, this is a lot nicer, I think, and a lot cheaper. That one, that one hits for like four hundred. The friends and families are hitting for like nine thousand. You know, it's crazy. I was in Australia. Yeah, no, I'm in Australia at SneakerCon. And I'm like, I gotta take a pair of shoes. Ain't nobody gonna see out here. I gotta take these, right? So like that was, I, you know, I lined it up. Quai 54, friends and family for LA. Pat, the Pata, friends and family for Melbourne. No, nobody's bound to see this over there. And I walk in and 10 minutes in, dude comes in with the whole fit. Oh, and the friends and family. And I'm like, oh man, you got these out here? But after talking to him for a while, he's pretty locked in, man. So yeah. like, I, I, you know, you know how it is, you assume, right? When you're gonna go somewhere, oh, I'm probably not gonna see this, I'm, I'm probably not gonna see that, yeah. And then somebody right there doing doing the most, like beating you with the outfit and mm -hmm. all that. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. LeBron's, I think, you feeling, I know you like LeBron as a player. No, I love him. Yeah, Falls, so, but that's my. Nah, yeah, I'm a big LeBron fan too, man. That's my guy, man. So, uh, yeah, I argue down all day about LeBron. Yeah, yeah. I, think he's, I think he's the greatest of all time. And, uh, yeah, I pretty much had every LeBron that's came out uh, to play basketball. You know, I, I think the seven is like the shoe that I think guys started like. Well, the one when they came out, they was wearing them was 
outfits and stuff for like the AIDS when the South Beach job. Yeah, yeah. It went Everybody crazy. went crazy for that it one. Crazy. For me, it was uh, like LeBron one. I wasn't really a fan. Crazy. LeBron two, you know, that was the first shoe. Yeah, yeah, My daughter and I matched, and that was a shoe I like playing ball in and the three. Yeah. Two and threes, but I ain't really played ball since about that time. So yeah, that's a know. shoe I'm actually looking forward to. Uh, yeah, the retro, retro ones, the two. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I just actually played uh, in the white and blue ones. I worked out in them and them things. The whole thing fell apart. Yeah, yeah, well, I, I think since I've had the store, I've probably gone through four pairs, and that's just walking yeah, in them here. They just, I mean, it shoes. You're talking 11, 12 years old minimum. No, more than that. We're talking almost 15 years yeah, old 15. you know so it's because Bron, this what year 19 for him no, it's 18? 16, 16. 16 yeah. yeah so it's crazy like man yeah bro but i i agree with you i think um you know when you see somebody excel the way that that he is in the league like we 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 become very spoiled right yeah. and then you just get tired of seeing somebody do the same thing over and over so mm -hmm. The comparisons, like I, I, I did that a lot with Kobe. I couldn't stand watching Kobe. I didn't want to hear no conversations about Kobe. This side and third, then he got injured. And then he came back, got injured again. And then I, you know, looked back at his body of work and realized like, man, this dude was really good. And I spent, right. And I spent his entire career like disregarding anything he did until, you know, you, like you look back and yeah. you know, a lot of people are doing that with LeBron, I think. Once LeBron is gone, we're going to re really understand his greatness because we weren't ready for what he's been doing. Yeah. You know? Speaking of Kobe, he's actually, his shoe is probably my favorite, actually. His basketball line is probably my favorite. Like the four fives and the sixes, yeah. I think those are some of the best basketball shoes made. Like the fives, I got a bunch of these. I got these. That actually. Aston Martin pack was crazy. And crazy, all, yeah. And all the years that we've been open, like we've only had one. This one right here too. Yes, yes. See, I, I might get these for sure. I got, I got a pair of these already, but I beat them to the ground. So, like the sixes is actually my favorite shoe. I think this is your ever. size, bro. Yeah, see, I, that might have to come on with me. Yeah, this a ten right here. Yeah, for sure. But the sixes, that's my favorite shoe of all the time. The Grinch. The Grinch was probably one of the hardest silhouettes, I mean, colorways he's yeah. ever done. Yeah, that was crazy. Yeah. yeah, and I couldn't get them then as well, so that, you know, that's why it's a, it's a big deal for me now, trying to get stuff that I couldn't. You playing phones at all or not? I've never owned a pair of phones in my life. I think they're trash. <laughs> <laughs> I'm keeping it so real. Yeah, I, I can't, respect it. I can't do it, bro. I ain't gonna say they trash, but it's some, it's some, some people can pull them off. They just the not, like, for me, when I look at them, like, I, I mean, I grew up East Coast, so this yeah. was, like, this hit an arrow. They were 180. That was, I think, the, the first wild part of it back in the day. Shoes weren't hit. Like, Jordans yeah. were still 110 mm -hmm. back then when those came out, and it was the jump to 180, and it was, the, I remember, it was a Royal One. It was this was the first one, but the quality was so much different like this had a lot more pushback yeah. it was it, it molded to your foot a lot better than all this new stuff and it was a great basketball shoe back then but now they're like it's like walking in two cinder blocks yeah, i can't do it either bro even though i think the paranormal foam posits are probably one of the hardest foams to ever drop yeah and see they, they look some of the things look cool but yeah it's just not for yeah, me it's an acquired taste yeah, sure. So I'll, I'll leave you to it. I'll let you shop around a little bit. You just tell me what shoes you want me to grab and then I'll, I'll, have, you, I'll have you on your way, man. Bet, bet, bet. Appreciate you. These are pull, man. things bait slides got a couple shatters 
couple gifts for the fam. Gotta hold it down for the home. The fade to blocks. Practice jacks. And the fanny. So we're at 2023.19. No, this is crazy. You know what's crazy? This is for my mom. Yo, she's she's on Supreme right now? She's a hype beast. That's crazy. It's for her birthday. Yo, you actually get some scratch off tickets with this, bro. For real? Yeah, man. Never win, but I'll take them. All right, let me figure out how many you got here. If I win, I'll run out the store. Guaranteed. So you got five, five, uh, five scratch off tickets. Let's get it. Ain't not one. <laughs> Yeah. You sound so <laughs> sad for me. <laughs> no, I just hate seeing people lose, bro. That's why I keep trying to come up with all these crazy ways to give away, man. Right? I told Johnny when we first started, a couple, I just wanted to give it all away. And then I also told her I wanted to give a car away and a house away. By the time we hit five years, so I got to give one of them things away here. Soon. Soon. Yeah. Well, family, I'm, oh, as always, I appreciate you, bro. Yes, Appreciate you, dog. Oh, Thank you, bro. All right, man. Y'all have a blessed evening, bro. All right, bro. All right, bro. So, so there you have it. Sneaker shopping with my family. Because technically the mall is closed. But it's my man Pierre. I've known him since a little bit before I opened the shop. I used to follow him on this sneaker group here in town. And it's just good to see a, a Vegas local, um, someone that I've been able to watch grow, man. This guy's been putting in work. You know, like he said, he did get hurt. You know, he made it to the league, got hurt, got back in the league, then won championships overseas. And, and, and that dude should be in the league, man. NBA, if you're watching, Somebody pick up the phone and call my man because he's he's a lot better than a lot of the point guards that are out there. But um, make sure to follow his Instagram. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video one time for your boy. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Adios.